Hey guys, this is Howie reporting from my Palace of Bling Explosion wow. to try to reiterate what Governor Gavin Newsom talked about how to reopen Great. the state of California. And he's talking about the phase two process of this easing of the stay at home policy. So there's a couple of things that he talked about, very ha a few handfuls, but they're pretty important, especially for people who are getting really antsy about going outside. So number one, uh, he's gonna allow people who aren't just essential workers to start going back to work. So get ready to go back to work, start shaving, start getting ready, put that makeup on, get ready for your commute to start getting a little bit more normal, um, but not quite. So there's other places that have open up their facilities and their companies and their businesses, but not everybody works all at the same time on the same days. So um, there's still gonna be some adjustments and they still highly, highly encourage that people work from home. Um, two, uh, they're also gonna encourage curbside pickup. So if you really, really have to get that thing from your store and it's not on Amazon, and pretty much everything is on Amazon, uh, you can order ahead and uh, you can just drive to the store and the employees will bring the stuff that you ordered to you in your car without you having to leave your car. Um, I've tried this once. Um, I was trying to get some exercise equipment and they said that from Chicks or something, uh, from Dick's Sporting Good. And they were supposed to text me and I was supposed to pick up the stuff, but I never got it. And so, not a huge proponent of it, but it's definitely something that you can do when you can, and it can really help support mom and pop stores. Um, a lot of stores that are not on Amazon and not on Costco that you can order online and they just get delivered to your house. Um, another thing too, they will be opening up the beaches. That's great news, especially for people in San Diego and Los Angeles and for the coastal cities. Um, but it's, have you, you've seen the news, it's kind of a nightmare and I've driven past some beaches and I don't know, I, to some people social distancing is, is different. What's confusing is, is that they he encourages you to social distance um, alone, but if you have to social distance with a group, that usually implies that you can hang out as a group if you live in the same household. I know you guys have seen me uh, doing some real estate, uh, looking at homes and whatnot, and but uh, and looking with a couple of people and a couple of close friends of mine, but those friends of mine. Um, are the people that I've been hanging out the most um, and granted they are not part of my household so yes I was in that wrong but um, I really have to get uh, that this apartment hunting or condo hunting um, before I start getting back to work because I'm gonna be switching back to LA um, to help out there since they need more COVID help than they do here in San Diego for some reason I don't know that that's because uh, San Diego is three times less populated population than LA, but um, they definitely need more of my help there, so I'm going to go back. Um, fourth is that masks are no longer uh, required for exercising. Huh? You didn't let me finish. It's no longer required for exercising outdoors. Um, however, if you do feel like you're going to be next to somebody and you can't be within physically six feet, uh, six feet distance from them, then yes, you, need to, you do need to put that mask on. But if you're just running down the trail alone or you can run um, or do exercises with somebody being at least six feet away, then by all means, you don't have to wear a mask. Um, now, if you have to go through a trail where you have to like be physically next to somebody, like it's a really small trail, and you can't wait and you have to go through it at the same time for some reason, then um, yes, you do need a mask. Um, but other than that, if you're exercising alone, probably not. Uh, uh, restaurant seating, dining, but they're really trying to open it up again. There's always a lot of restaurants and they're really, really asking that you just order takeout. Some restaurants haven't even felt uh, the pinch of the quarantine because they're always so busy with people coming in and out anyway. So. Um, yeah, go ahead and patronize restaurants. Just know that it's still gonna be a while when we're able to sit down inside the restaurant. Um, finally, the next thing is that there's not gonna be any open malls, so. Sorry, Becky, you can't do any shopping. Um, it's still not allowed. But again, there's a lot of options. There's uh, online options like Amazon, Costco, or even Walmart online, um, and they can just deliver it to your door, or you can just have a curbside pickup. And that's pretty much it. I'll talk about all the other medical stuff some other time, but I just wanted to forward along the information 
to you without you having to um, listen to the presentation for a whole hour. Thanks guys, this is Howie, bye.